So 1.4, refer to the infographic below based on the tropical cyclone Filippo. Um, it made landfall in Mozambique in Moz on the 12th of March after strengthening of the coast of Southeast Africa, bringing very strong winds and heavy rain to Mozambique. And on the 13th of March, uh, tropical storm Filippo moved back over the ocean and developed into a tropical cyclone on the 14th of March. So Derbs is right here. That's currently where I'm like, where I'm making this video from. Deban, Durban, Derbs, KZN, Land of the Zulus, DBN, Degweni. Okay, look, th those are all the names I know for Durban. So it moved back over the ocean uh, and developed into a tropic cyclone on the 14th of March in and around here, right? And just some information on the path of the tropical cyclone of Filippo, it's right here, uh, the maturation stage, right at the end. So state one condition that could have led to the development of tropical cyclone Filippo. Nice like Portuguese name there almost, Filippo, because you know like Mozambique was colonized by the Portuguese. They just kind of left their language there. So possible answers here, the presence of a, a low pressure system. In other words, the convergence of air. Converge, converge means like getting smaller or like just reducing of air. You know, if you think back to your time, like if you did pure maths, like converging number patterns, you know, just getting smaller, like the R value being between negative one and one. Sorry, I'm getting off topic now, sorry. 1.4.2, uh, give evidence from the map and table of information that tropical cyclone Filippo had strengthened from the 10th to the 11th of March. So from the 10th to the 11th, looking here, it was exposed to more moisture over the ocean uh, from the 10th to the 11th of March. So here to here, if you battle to see that, um, I think the most obvious answer rather was the wind speed increase from 63 all the way to 93, which is crazy. Like 93 Ks an hour is really, really hectic. Um, but yeah, those are the only two answers. And you look, you you had to give both. And 1.4.3, give two reasons, dos, for the increase in wind speed from 6 o'clock to, well, 6 in the morning to 6 in the evening on the 12th of March here. So this versus the major decrease here from 95 to 74. There was a decrease here, and perhaps it uh, it moved over the land. So if it moves over land, there's just less moisture. So you just chuck there like land, it's less moisture, and over like, the ocean or wetlands, lakes, whatever, any kind of major water body or like coastal kind of place, there's just gonna be more moisture. So land is less moisture. Um, perhaps more friction, uh, less latent heat, starting to dissipate as well these are all possible answers but yeah nice uh, nice little question question here of uh, tropical cyclone filippo